Yes, lads, welcome to another custom tactics video on the channel. Today we are checking out the 4141. Let's get into it. For cheap, safe, and reliable FC24 coins, check out MMO EXP in the description down below and use my creator code ALP at checkout for a cheeky 5% off. Jeez. So diving in with the tactics, lads, as you can see on your screen, this is how we set it out. Um, balance on the defensive style, width on 40, depth on 65. 40 just keeps those center backs and full backs nice and tight. It does limit the amount of the op opportunities you can see through the middle, which is nice. And it covers the wide areas suitably. Um, depth we play 65. I love 65. Anywhere between 65 and 70 for me. Um, but use whatever you feel most comfortable, lads. It doesn't really matter. Balance and direct passing. Hate that this is the only thing you can really use if you want to push for those rank ones and elites. It sucks a little bit if you want to perform to your best. Um, width is 50. No real change on that. We just leave it neutral. Same for the players in the box. We leave on five. Three on corners. We do swing them in from post headers, lads. And the amount I scored in one game was obscene. You'll see. And free kicks, too. We do have a pop. Did you know 84% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel? So if you are enjoying, remember to leave a like and sub to the channel if you are new. So diving in with the player instructions, lads. Um, our striker, our killer, Cristiano Ronaldo. And he is obscene. You can use whoever your best striker is in this position. However, I would say a bonus having someone that is aerial. Um, I do like that new Drogba in this position. A lot of people, a lot of you are probably using the new Drogba. So he is phenomenal in this position because sometimes if you counter too quick, it doesn't give your left mid and right mid a chance to catch up. They need to be able to hold the ball up. But again, if you're using Eusebio and Bappe, they're going to be fine, lads, for the most part. Especially the way if you build up properly, you'll be fine. So moving on to the centre mids, lads. We have one that is on cover centre, and that is all. So this is going to be more of a progressive midfielder. They are going to get forward and score you some goals. I'm going to be changing Hanji out for Pateas. I definitely recommend you have someone in this position that can attack, can defend. Um, but they, again, if, if you're really comfortable with having an attacking midfielder like i use haji and um, while i was testing formation and he was insane but i do feel like it's nice to have someone in there that can stick a foot in they don't need to have massively high defending if you have a box-to-box -box midfielder with like low 70s low 80s that's phenomenal that's, that's gonna be give you that ability to stick a foot in and then our other midfielder is stay on edge of the box stay back while attacking and cover center more of a defensively minded cd uh, center mid and you're probably wondering why isn't Rodri in CDM instead of Xavi? Because it logically would make sense. I love this player to be a creator, lads. Stay back while attacking. So he's going to be a, a part of our defensive midfield. Cover center, but deep lying playmaker. I'm not going to lie. I did pinch this from Tex. His plan B formation for seeing out a game is this 4 1 4 1. And I noticed that. He has deep line playmaker and then he ensures someone in this CDM position has long ball plus. Um, so Xavi is insane in this position and the passes you can sling with Xavi from this position from left to right to forward is insane. There's loads of players you can use long ball plus, plus, plus on. A lot of you have done the, probably done that Bruno flashback. He's got it. Um, Xavi's got it. Um, I can't remember. There's a version of Schweinsteiger that's got it. Uh, but there's plenty of cards that can do this, lads, and it is genuinely insane the way it creates. And plus, with this guy staying back while attacking, stay on edge, he's going to play like a defensive center mid anyways. Just Xavi's just a little bit deeper, and he's basically like quarterback, just slinging passes at the pitch. Now, in my opinion, the most important players in this team are the left mid and right mids because they, they're going to support your attack, but they're also going to support your defense. So our right mid is just on stay wide, get into the box for crosses, come back on defense. So they're going to support with your defensive play when you don't have the ball in front of the fullback. Uh, stay wide because our right back does not go forward. Zhao Felix is going to create the width, so he's going to stay wide. Um, stay wide until we get to their box. So essentially when we're in the midfield, he's going to be in a wide position. But then as we get closer to the box, he's going to get into the box for crosses. So you've got that kind of, kind of tapers in, which is nice. And then because Rolfo, our fullback, our attacking fullback, is just on balance. Um, I have tried balance and overlap, which is nice. But because 
um the instructions on our left mid just leaving it on balance is fine lads and sometimes it is nice to have those inverted runs um but our right mid our left mid is come back on defense cut inside and get into the box for crosses so they are essentially um gonna defend but when we're attacking felix is going to be creating the width on the right hand side um which is important because width is everything in this game and then you've got javi simmons who cuts inside drags that fullback with him on the inside i definitely recommend having someone with a finesse shot plus play style in this position because it's just game changing got 99 shooting finesse shot plus javi simmons ignore that 84 rating he plays like team of the year r9 <laughs> but because he cuts inside he drags the fullback in it allows rolfo a lot more space in this this uh this left hand side which is insane so you're gonna see as javi simmons creates lots of danger as he's cutting on the inside and again it's a player that's coming in close to the midfield showing closer for passes and closer to the striker in the midfield region you get a lot of passes and he's got tick attack a silver version which is in my opinion insane i like to have it on all my players like i think four out of my five midfielders have tick attack a basic which allows them to play those quick one touch passes which is so key to the way i want to play the game but then the uh, rolfo with the ping pass plus you're going to be cutting in down that that left left wing area driving passes into this midfield the strikers the winger well the left mid and right mid so it's important lads um you can flip this if you want your right back to go forward you would just flip these instructions um he's on stay back while attacking and overlap though um because if he he gets inside uh stays wide we want to make sure he's overlapping all the time not inverting don't know why that tactic didn't stick um but that is essentially it you um if you want to flip it you just flip the um the for the instructions on the left mid and right mid so if you want your right back to go forward you need to be uh, having your left your right mid on uh cut inside uh rather than stay wide um and then your attacking midfielder lads would need to be on the left side because i don't recommend having your attacking midfielder on the same side as your attacking fullback because you do get balance issues even though you've got that cdm there covering you do get the balance issues when they go away because you'd have this pocket if i set my left center mid on and my left back you would have a pocket of space here that people could exploit on the counter and javi simmons is not the best defender so you don't want that to happen uh center backs touch them i will find you unless you were dunking on your opponent i literally have a dunking compilation for you here of ronald araujo when he's not getting sent off in the champions league <laughs> uh dunking on all of my opposition in the uh in champ so do with that what you will aerial plus lads off the corners is insane um and then goalkeeper we just leave on balance lads but that's the 4141 leave in the comments if you use it and i will catch you in another one Cheese.